Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Now, it's been a while since I played this. In fact, so long, the devs have added another level. However, we are not quite there yet. We're working through the Arctic Tundra and the Twisted Turnpike at the same time because I'm a multitasking engineer. So let's have a go at this one, Ski Jump. So for this, we have a car up here, the Monster Flipper, which is very quick, 25 meters a second. That's like 55 mile an hour in like actual units. Although saying that, as a, as a drainage, engineer i always use meters per second to measure like flow velocity but anyway shut up matt you sound like a nerd you sound like a nerd you're cool now you make knob jokes all the time so what we got to do we got to get to the flag over there oh and look there's loads of are they pillars in the way are there gaps in the are they numbers is that 5 25 and 50 oh wow yeah it is oh i don't know what to aim for now what do you reckon old mate what shall we aim for 50 you reckon go for the big oh 50 is tall 50 is tall if you're like me you're useless at knowing what to tell people to gift you for the holidays paddy i know you keep asking me but i really don't know what i want this year so how about today's video sponsor ridge wallet these wallets are super sleek while still having room for up to 12 cards Plus cash. There's even a coin tree you can add. They're available in over 30 styles and colors. And you can get matching key cases to hold your keys without that annoying key rattle. Mmm, silence. The wallets come with a lifetime guarantee, which can come in very handy. Can't they, Paddy? There's a huge sale on at ridge.com forward slash engineer, where you can get up to 30% off through 20th December, as well as a free chance to win a Ridge bundle worth $4,000. So now is the perfect time to gift or ask your dog to be gifted a Ridge wallet. Thanks for sponsoring, but let's get back to the video. But yeah, look, if we spin around, we can clearly get through there. Now, trouble is there's no anchor points anywhere. We've only got these as like a cantilever. So unfortunately, I feel like we're gonna have to use the foundation. Oh, it's so expensive. Let's shove it right down there. And then with the line tool, I'm going to go from there over to like here-ish. I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to click this button, unlock tangents, which means I can do curves like that. So if we go to about there, then... Oh man, it's actually really far. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe I can just do a jump and then that will like make it easily. I don't know, actually. Still, we'll push those into place. Then we'll truss this up a little bit. We'll have to add some stuff steel underneath to support this and then i'm hoping i can just grab like say that much copy it flip it over that side and then potentially just rope from there over to there and maybe that will hold itself up or not so let's replace some of these middle pieces with steel then over here i might put just like a little muscle just to support some of this a bit so then oh look it's working it's almost working. How far is the jump? Oh, the jump wasn't too bad. If it didn't break, we might be onto something. So let's just see what happens to the stress. Oh boy. <laughs> As it comes down. Okay, it's just it's just very stressed. But after a bit of tweaking, we've spent a hundred grand, two thirds of our budget, but now it makes it out almost. So let's add another bit of road up the top. And then oh my goodness, slow motion. Is it gonna make it? It's Okay, it's not going to make it. Oh, it nearly did. Remember, though, we promised the bird we were going for the top. So that is what we'll do. Oh, that looks good. Oh, not quite. Oh, oh, it nearly, it nearly makes it. All right, one more bit of road. And unfortunately, yeah, one more bit of road is just pushing it a little bit too much. It's just slightly too much weight. Although with a bit of a tweak, it does make it. But oh, man, I'm not getting through that top hole. No chance. Okay, what I might do, let's... Bring this down a bit. Maybe we're going to have to let the penguin down. But in the name of... <gasps> engine... Never mind. All right, well, anyway, after a whole load of tweaking, I'm getting a little bit annoyed with this level. Not going to lie. So I think it's time for a fresh take. So foundation in the middle. Wait, 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 wait. What, what's that, Mr. Penguin? You had a premonition about the future. I turned into an architect and tried to build a catapult. It took several building attempts and I still didn't get one that worked. It just collapsed every time. I just started adding muscles and pieces and cables and it was a disaster. Well, that certainly doesn't sound like me. But yeah, I think you're right. I, I made you a promise. So through the power, of engineering i just added a few more bits of road and then yes <gasps> oh yes we made it we made it thank goodness that is over oh look we're in the top 19 percent. that is not actually too bad the top people did it for 63 grand that's still actually quite a lot of money so there's probably no cheese on this one which is quite good to note let's see how our mate tyler did 
he spent a million quid. So on that note, let's head in the gallery, sort by the lowest budget, see how people did this cheap. So this is a 45 grand solution. I think it has brakes though. Oh, that, oh, that's actually quite clever. That's actually quite clever. That last bridge, like it tilts. So does this one do the same? Oh, it's got like a flappy thing there. Though. Oh, look at that. No way. Oh, something I am noting though, all these solutions, they went under the bottom one. So technically they got less points than I did. Let's have a look at this one. Razdazd with the RCE propaganda and still only spending 68 grand. So there's drops down to the middle. Yeah, clearly getting rid of that bit of bridge there saves a lot of money. But everyone got really low scores. Is this going to get a 50 points? Oh, we'll never know. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, what if falls? No way. Oh, I like falls like up the... What? What did I just watch? Watch that get like, look at this arm. It like it like lifts. It slides up. So the ramp like moves to the right as it falls. Oh my brain. My brain. Oh, Don Pedro, look at the truss work in there. It's all wood. It is all wood. Nice landing. Anyway, this one has a lot of budget. Let's have a look at the highest budget. And we'll probably see. Oh my oh my good. Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> you spent 300 grand on those. Uh, worth noting, Tyler's Bridge, million quid. Doesn't even appear on here. It's too much money. Uh, what is this one, by the way? Oh, it's the Nifty sponsored solution. Nifty for when you need a ski jump, but you also want a little bit of RC propaganda in the background. Warning: the Nifty sponsored solution may not actually contain RC propaganda. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, look, the Bilf. It's waving. Hi, RC. <laughs> Oh, hi, that man. That's so cool. That is a bill. I'll give you that. All right, we've got this one. Look at the size of this ramp. Whoa. Oh, he went over. He went over. <laughs> that is some mad skills. All right, this one. What does? What did that say? Oh, it's RCE, but backwards. So this replay is taken from the nether. That is pure engineering. This one, artsy. Not sure what's so artsy about that, if I'm honest. This one, which has a weird, like, bicycle that's going up a wall but oh they also went over the top as well fair play uh, by the way as you watch these next few levels shout out to my, my buddy john uh, some of you may have heard me talk about him before i, I did the best man speech for him because i was his best man absolutely terrifying experience uh, but the ski jump just reminded me uh, if you're if you're a cardiff local or like live in south wales he's just opened a ski store naskisports.co.uk and they got a shop in cardiff so if you want to get like some ski gear get your boots fitted and stuff definitely recommend you check it out uh, if you tell him matt's in you will probably give you some sort of discount or I don't know tell an embarrassing story about me or something but yeah this isn't sponsored remember we only do sponsorships with nifty well and ridge wallet in this video but I just thought I'd shout my mate out anyway anyway let's head on to the the other world of the twisted turnpike this level is called unfolding now remember these are hydraulic levels so these are probably gonna hurt what have we got to do here we've got mr motorbike you've got to get over to the flag at C, but these are in the way now thankfully we have a node in the middle I I don't see why this would be that difficult if i'm honest because like surely we just go down to like there-ish but road in like that all right so that's what the bridge is going to look like the thing is the boats go first so what i need to do i need to cut that rotate it up to there and then we need to use hydraulics to get this to go down so to do a 90 degree -er, i reckon trial and error shove it on there <laughs> do a bit of that we'll then dangle this main bit of bridge like that and then we'll see what happens when the hydraulics go so you can see that is hanging out the way of the boats that is beautiful but this is where the proper engineering comes in will the will the hydraulics push this <laughs> i was gonna say down to the right level okay that that didn't quite go to plan what if we go from down there surely that will go down further i mean it sort of did perhaps not enough right so whilst i work on this for you guys it's engineering time <laughs> the beams are strong the concrete pours the urge to build i can't ignore your spans are weak your peers a mess your cable slack you need finesse whoa you don't know that you're gonna discover might as well face it i'm addicted to bills okay so this is what i came up with <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it took a lot this weekend i i am not very good at hydraulics but i'm very much looking forward to the the solution in the gallery but yeah that's what i came up with it <laughs> It does break at the end. Oh, no, look at that. I can see someone's done it literally just there, like, super sensibly. 
Is that just one hydraulic? Two hydraulics at the bottom. That looks so much better than mine. Anyway, not even looking at where I placed. Literally don't care. So lowest budget, three grand. Okay, this is going to be a cheese. How's this? Oh, whoa. I was going to say, how's this going to work? They dropped a load of road on his head. So actual lowest price solution that isn't a cheese. I mean, it is a cheese, but not as cheesy. Dangly road, but underneath the boats. And then this one. Oh, that's basically what I did. But for 13 grand rather than 30 grand. I think I misheard on the budget there. Yeah, everyone pretty much did the same. Look, even Strudel, lowercase RC propaganda. And they still managed half the budget I did. <laughs> I'm so bad at hydraulics. Oh, look at this one. This is like, it's on the wonk. It's literally on the wonk. It goes up and then drops down. Ah, oh, nice. Compared to everyone else that basically did the same thing. All right, to so the highest end of the budget. Well, the most expensive one, actually quite unique. It's just like a huge drawbridge using like crazy amount of hydraulics underneath. Nice. Then we've got this one, which has a load of that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Worth noting at the end, the, the bridge does raise up and we've got these counterweights underneath to stop it like flapping about over the place. So that's good engineering. We've got another nifty sponsored solution. Look at that beautiful. Oh my goodness. Makes me all tingly watching the nifty sponsored solution. The way the sea rose up with the middle of the bridge. Does that mean nifty causes global warming? Anyway, we've then got Alan's solution. RCE. Cheers for that, mate. All right. How is this uh, Alan solution? Oh, there, there they are. There. <laughs> There they are, all three of them. We think, oh, whoa, look at that. And by that, I mean that man. Oh my goodness, and a rolling bridge. Oh my goodness, a rolling bridge and like RC propaganda coming in from the left. Wait, does that say RCE? Oh, that says go. But like, look at that, that's me. Look, it says RCE and it's pointing at me. I've got a beard. I'm wearing my hard hat on the side because I'm cool. And then my glasses, my safety glasses, were the bridge. Oh, that's so cool. Save us. No, ignore that one. Ignore that one. On to the next one. Have a. Oh, what's that? There's a weight over there. Oh, there's a chain. The, the weight is holding the RCE propaganda in place. Love to see that. All right, then Yonru, what have they come up with? Oh, nice. Just a <laughs> so much steel. This. Oh, look at that. Wait, there's no, there's no hydraulics on this. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was that was very cool. You've got Matthews made a bit of a mess dangling. Oh, it's not a mess. It's the RCE propaganda. And then this one, which has no movement at all, does it? No, it's just. Oh, that's really cool. Fair play. All right. Well, anyway, back to campaign. Back to the Arctic tundra. We're on level five, fifty fifty. So, oh no, it's a hydraulic one. <laughs> I was trying to get away from the hydraulics. Right. What have we? Oh no. What have we got here? So. Oh no. We got no roads. We've got no roads. We've got to get these two bits of road over to. Well, over to the gaps. So somehow, let's turn the grid on. We've got to move all of that from there down to there. Oh, that seems like work. Not gonna lie. That seems like a lot of work. All right, what I'm thinking, let's just pretend that was in place. If I can find a point from that and that, where these are both the same length. So, I mean, that's pretty close. They both cost 1700. So if I then just copy that to there, and then I just make like a trussy sort of thing there, then this should swing to the right place. So if I make that a joint and that a joint, and then that a joint with those two locked and that a joint with that locked, then it might swing to, <laughs> to the right place. All right, does it actually swing? over the note. I mean, not in the slightest. How would I get that so wrong? Right, let's turn the grid off and do this Do this by hand. Something else I could do just to get it to lock in the right place. If I have these two cables, so they go from that node. If I just cut them up to like there, I can cut that, give it a rotate, and this one do the same. Then I think as this swings, it should stop it almost in the right place. So as this swings, it should... Yes, horizontal is perfect. It's a tiny bit high, right, but that... Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's just do it slow. So as it slight... So as it rocks down, it should stop just about there. Let's make that slightly longer. Oh, the trouble is it does get pulled back before the tractor drives across. Oh, it's because I didn't do these cables straight down. Oh, idiot. See, I gotta move all of this to the left a bit. Yes, yes. Okay, that works. That works. It's just slightly too low. If I just bring that up. Look at the penguin looking on like this guy is an idiot. How does he have nearly 2 million subscribers? Right, okay, so that nearly works. The thing is, how am I gonna get these two 
up. Because going down, I can use gravity. Going up, I'm not sure I can. All right, hear me out here. Hear me out. What if, can we use the momentum from from this joint to swing up? I mean, what if we, what if we make that contract? Oh, that goes up quite high, actually. I need it to bet. Oh, we got springs. Hang on a sec. What if we make all of those? No, what if that's a hydraulic? Oh, do you see how high that goes? Do I need springs there? I don't actually need springs. I reckon, though, if we had, like, a node sort of there-ish with a joint, we might be able to get that to, like, lock in. Maybe. I mean, I'm probably clutching at straws. I don't actually know how, like, the locking works. I'm wondering, does it need to, like, move the same direction to sort of catch it? And let's slow this down. It goes up. And then as it comes down... Oh, it locked in! It locked in! So, this... Oh, no! No, whatever I did on this side is changing my first bridge falls. All right, what if I make that a bit longer? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I just need this to work. Oh, no, it broke. Oh, if I make this steel, it's going to fall differently, isn't it? So it won't catch anymore. Ah, oh, balls. Still, we know the concept works. So I've just got to move this to the right spot. Man, my patience knows no bounds. I don't know how I got this to work before. It is not working now, though. All right, question then. Going back to the original design, is there anything I can do to make that kadonk not as much? I'm thinking a hydraulic controller second phase what if i just turn that hydraulic back on so it locks in and then yes it raises up the bridge so oh what no why did that side fail because you broke okay what if i just make you steal trouble is any changes could change everything oh i think what happens because there's another hydraulic phase it takes longer and then this moves yeah this rocks out the way okay what if i just make that longer then so it just slides further and when it comes back it's in the right spot yes okay this could work this could work oh no oh no <laughs> Right, I tried turning this one back on as well. Oh, actually, doing that has affected this side. Oh, what if, what if actually, this is where I use my springs. Okay, a little bit of, a little bit of jiggle. Oh, could have helped, but it didn't. What if I spring that as well? Oh, no. <laughs> I need to close that gap up. I tell you what, what if I hydraulic in there and then, oh yeah, that moved it. That moved it. Right, okay, here we go then. Here we go. I think I've got it. So that drives up onto there. Yes. Across here where the bridge is now. Oh, I was going to say where that gap is now fixed because the hydraulic, but it's not. I mean, I could hydraulic that actually. I'll try a spring first. But yeah, I can see that's too much of a step. No one's getting up there. Unless, what if I do that one as well? So that will lower this end, but it tilts it up a bit more. Trouble is, because it's a bigger drop, it probably won't work. Oh, and it's messed up that side. Of course it has. All right, so yeah, the other alternative was to hydraulic that, which could end in tears. But oh, no, look how high that is. I've done it. I've done it. I've actually done it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I've done it. <laughs> That took so long. I'm in the top 40. Really? 40% 40 of players did this cheaper than I did. Is one of them Tyler? One of them's definitely Tyler. 20 grand. Sod that. Gallery. <laughs> so lowest budget. Oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, look at the right. Oh, that's very similar to mine. With way less hydraulics and springs though. How did they get the left one to work? All right, left one. Oh, look. Oh. To be fair, the fact I did it with the right side, maybe I should have been able to do that with the left side. Wait, how much does this bridge got? Three grand? What? These are all like four grand, three grand. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I did the right side. I didn't even think to do the left side. I was just looking down here at this one. I was like, oh look, that's got a big hydraulic. That probably does it without like being fluky. No, that's... <laughs> this was just a fluky old level, I think. All right, let's have a look at the highest budget. Cheer myself up. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. That RC propaganda, lowercase. Top hat on top, but it's a yellow top hat because I wear a yellow hard hat. That is what we like to see. We've got the nifty sponsored solution. Oh, look at that. That was actually really nice. So is your font. Carissi. Oh, they did the swings like I did. <laughs> <laughs> they did swings and their thing on the right was a little bit more janky than mine. We've got Alan solution. Cheers, Alan. Oh, fair play. Nice hydraulic work. No, I don't mean that one. We've then got our Yunru with the... Man, that propaganda is insane. It's like proper clip art. It's like coloured in the middle with like a red border. Loving that. This one, hi RC. I assume that's from the penguin. Oh, look at it's waving. <laughs> look at the wave. Oh, and it all falls off and just leaves like really simple bridge. Wow. We've got, oh, what is the bridge doing? What was that that just fell down? Uh, so many questions. This, <laughs> this 
Look at the size of that arch over the top. It's not even doing anything. Artsy, what are you doing, mate? Is that artsy? I'm not even sure anymore. Oh, a birthday pie for a birthday right. Happy birthday, Rye the Pie. Cheers for not abusing me for once. Hang on, when did he actually post this? 5th of October. It's now the 14th of November. By the time this comes out, it's probably December. Belated birthday. Oh, what's this? Yorkshire tea gold. I will wash your mouth out. There is only one brand of tea that engineers drink and it's not Yorkshire. Although I'm not impartial to a cup of Yorkshire brute. But shush, don't tell Nifty that or we'll go AWOL again. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, anyway, head is hurting after that. Way too many hydraulics. Next time we are on another hydraulic level. Oh my goodness. There looks like there's lots of vehicles on there. So we'll see how we get on then. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges. Bye.